What's going on guys? My name is Kevin Griffith and this is the Holler Barbecue. So I know you guys have heard of cedar plank salmon, but what about cedar plank chicken? Sit right there and I'll show you how to do it. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hey, before we get started, I just want to say to everyone, I hope that you and your family stay in safe. I know this is troubling times, but just, you know, when we keep pushing on, we're gonna get through this. With that said, today, I wanna do something a little bit different for you. This is actually a, a really easy way to cook chicken, and I've done it a few times, and it comes out really good. Now, you've probably heard of doing uh, salmon on cedar plank. Well, a while back, a long time ago, I, I tried chicken on it, and it actually comes out pretty dang good. The cedar gives it just a little bit of uh, that cedar smell and smoke into the chicken. And you're gonna get more of a, a roasted style chicken as opposed to a grilled, because I'm not gonna be flipping it on the, gr the grates or anything like that. So it's gonna come more out like a, I'd say like a rotisserie style chicken. Now the chicken I got today, I got this from Costco. It's the first time I actually seen their brand, just regular chickens. I usually get their organic ones, um, just because I, I like them because they're usually a lot smaller than normal chickens. And I like, I like to do about a four pound bird when I cook them. But they had their regular ones today, which they were 98 cent a pound. So I got two chickens for like $9 and something, which means these chickens, they're, they're about four, four and a half pounds a piece. So not too bad. Like I said, this is gonna be a really simple cook. So the first thing we're gonna do is just get this chicken ready. So the first thing we're gonna do is basically cut out its backbone. And then after the backbone's out, we're just gonna go ahead and split this chicken. And that's all we're gonna to do to prep it. All right, so I said this is gonna be a, a more simple cook. So all we're doing is just putting the chicken straight on your cedar plank, putting some seasoning on it, and we're calling it a day. Now this is a lot smaller cedar plank than I normally get when I get them from Costco. I don't remember where I got this one from. Probably won't be getting these anymore just because of how small they are. Now we just gotta see if we can fit that chicken on there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, it'll be fine. We just have to, we'll just squish it up kinda on there. Put the other one on down here. All right, I actually switched them up so that the legs were going together, made them fit on the board just a little bit easier. So for our seasoning today, I'm telling you, I'm going super simple with this cook. Um, let me get that to focus real quick. So this is Mississippi Grind. It's actually uh, by a barbecue team called Swine Life. This is really good stuff. It's one of my favorites. Um, I'll put a link in the description down below if you want to check out getting one of these. But really good. I don't have much left. Looks like I'm going to have to get some soon. But this is all we're going to use today. Trying to keep a clean hand here. I just washed them. So we just want to season it up good. Now this seasoning for chicken, if I was cooking straight on the grill, you got to be kind of careful because it does have uh, sugar in it, which can cause it to uh, caramelize or even burn a little bit quick. But I'm not going to be worried about this time because we're not going to be really on the grate. And I'm going to flip them over and season both sides of them. Sorry if I got in your way. We'll get them all set back up here in a minute. I'm just trying to cover. All right, I've got as much of this chicken sitting on this board as possible. Now my board, um, I did soak this thing. Basically it's been soaking for, I don't know, four or five hours. Just sitting in some water, just uh, uh, taking in that moisture. So we're gonna let this rub just set in. So it needs to sit on there for maybe 10, 15 minutes just so it can start kind of melting and getting down in the chicken. So while we're waiting on our rub, let's go ahead and get our grill going. So today I'm using the PK. Um, I'm trying to go for more of a, a, a normal cook. I don't wanna be smoking it with my cedar and some different wood. So I'm just putting this straight on top of a charcoal grill. Any grill you have will work. We'll talk about temperature a little bit later. But I almost ran out of charcoal, so all I had left was these B&B char logs. 
So we're just gonna use those, see how it goes. That's why we're not gonna go over temperature yet. I'm gonna get the grill set and see where we're, we're hitting at. I'm shooting between 275 and 325, somewhere around there. So these char logs, all they are is just it's charcoal that looks is compressed into more of a log instead of a briquette. So I'm gonna use this char, these char logs just like normal charcoal. I'm just taking a normal chimney starter and I'm filling it up. I might have a few too many, so I need to take some of these back, but here's a good look at one if you wanna see what it looks like. And this is gonna light it up and let them mostly ash over. So my charcoal is ready. It is cranking pretty warm right now. Um, so I took the divider out of my charcoal basket and I'm just gonna spread this charcoal um, kind of even around. Gonna get our grate in. Now I need to get it all cleaned up. And then we'll come back and take a look at it in a minute. But I know I'm gonna be shutting down one of these sides of vents just a little bit, maybe halfway on one, maybe a little bit on the other one. Like I said, we'll check the temperature. We don't wanna to go too high. All right, guys, so I just temped the grill. We're rolling right around 375, so it did come up quite a bit but you know that's okay because the higher you get that's that's how you get crispy skin right so this is where our simple comes in because we're on this plank we don't got to do much but set it on there get it shut up and then we're going for an internal temperature of around 160 on the breast to about 170 on the thigh and the legs and we'll just we'll check it in about you know 30 minutes 40 minutes See where we're at. I know we'll probably we'll probably cook in around an hour ish. Remember, always cook to temperature and not time because birds are going to be different size. Your grill's going to be different temperatures, so always the temp. All right, guys, we've been going about 25, 30 ish minutes. Now, what I do want to do is just give it a check to make sure that our board's not burning which we're doing pretty good right now. It's just turning black. And I got a little bit of water in this bottle. And I just wanna, just to hit it a little bit. Nothing crazy, just to keep the skin a little bit moist right now. We won't do that towards the end, just so that our skin can uh, really stiffen up and get crispy, because that's what people usually want out of this chicken skin, right? So we're about, like I said, we're at the 25 minute mark. We'll give it a check just to see where we're at. I'm getting a reading right around 100 degrees. All right, guys, it's been just a little bit over an hour, maybe an hour and 10 minutes. And I actually just came out to tempt this, um, and we're hitting, we're sitting at right around 162-ish in the breast right now. Our thighs are, and, and legs are quite a bit higher. They're around, in the, they're in the 170s. But, you know, dark meat can, take a lot higher temperature and still be juicy. But I'm gonna get these off here. Now I'm not taking this cedar plank inside because you can see it's covered with juice right now and it's still kind of smoking. I'll tell you what, I love the smell of cedar as it's smoking. Comes out great. Comes out good in chicken too. If you've never tried this. Oh, come here, chicken. Let me see if I can get that to you. Looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna let these rest up for a little bit and then we'll cut into it and go over some stuff. All right, guys, so here is our cedar plank chicken. I think it came out pretty good. Let's go over what we did really quick. So like I said, it was really simple. All I did was cut this chicken in half, cut the backbone out, cut it in half, I use some of that Mississippi grind seasoning. You can use whatever seasoning you want if you don't have that one, whatever your favorite chicken seasoning is. Put it on that plank and just put it straight on the grill. There's no flipping or anything, because like I said, we're going for more for a, a roasted chicken as opposed to just grilled chicken. So it's just pretty simple. Just let the breast come up to about 160-ish. Thighs, legs will be 170, 175. Let's cut into it.
really good. I, I really like the way cedar tastes on food, especially chicken and salmon. It's not overpowering and it's just enough just so you can taste it. It's almost like when you're smelling cedar, you can smell it and that's what it tastes like. All right guys, well that's it for our cedar plank chicken video. I hope everyone continues to be safe. And hey, if you got any questions or comments, go ahead and put them below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And always, holler back.